when you're in a hurry and you have more than one child, all the little shortcuts to get out the door when you're trying to go somewhere makes all the difference. <laughs> crunch and I am doing the world's smallest target haul today. I needed to get just a couple of items to fill in my daughter's 2T wardrobe since just in the last week or two she has moved up to the 2T size. And more than half of her wardrobe is just Alex's old clothes that can totally be gender neutral clothes and we also have a couple of things that were gifts from Christmas, birthdays, when she was born even, and there were just a few things that we needed to fill in the gaps. And so as you guys know, I almost always get things used, or in this case, if I do get things new, I try to get them at discounted prices like clearance rack or if they're just a really low price. I happened to be at Target the other day and they had the things that I needed. So I am just going to show those to you and I got them all for a pretty decent price. Here they are. This was on the clearance rack. She needed a couple more long sleeve shirts and this one was $5 and it was on sale for $2.50. So really that's like thrift store prices. This one I think is just so cute, the little upside down rainbow smiley, and I love that shade of blue too. And this one was also on clearance for five bucks and was also two. And then up here I needed to get her leggings, and because she only had like two pairs of leggings as gifts that we had gotten, and obviously Alex's wardrobe didn't have leggings, and I do like to have a couple pairs of girly leggings, so... I got a couple of those. So I checked the clearance rack and they actually didn't have too many pairs of leggings in the clearance rack except for these cute little jeggings. And these used to be $7 and they were on sale for five bucks. So that was a good deal. And then all of the rest of these other leggings were each five bucks. So we've got just some plain black ones because they go with everything and some nice kind of aqua blue color leggings here and I thought these were cute. I like to have one or two really girly things thrown in with my mostly gender neutral stuff. You know, light pink leggings with little flowers on them and I think that it's actually a really tasteful little design. And this over here is the one thing that I paid more for than I would normally want to pay for little kid clothes but when I saw this swimsuit it's just so so practical and functional <laughs> that I decided to splurge on it. It was uh, 14 bucks. In the grand scheme of things, isn't that bad. Sophie really needs a swimsuit. The last one she had was like nine month or 12 month from whatever she was wearing last summer and that clearly doesn't fit her now. And so I actually decided to get a size 3T. She's in 2T right now. But I figure if I'm going to be paying a little bit more for a swimsuit full price, I might as well get one size bigger. It'll probably be a little bit baggy on her this summer, but then it will also fit her the following summer. So I'm just thinking ahead here and really wanted to get something that will get a lot of bang for our buck. Let me show you the features of this swimsuit and why I think it's so practical and functional. So first of all, this thing is a one-piece suit, and I just feel like one-pieces are just so much easier to get on and get off when you're getting the kids ready in the summer. Um, I mean, not that it's that hard to put on two pieces, but when you're in a hurry and you have more than one child, it's, you know, all the little shortcuts to get out the door when you're trying to go somewhere makes all the difference. So I really like that it is the long sleeve. I really try to get those for my kids instead of the regular cut swimsuits because most of the time that they're wearing a swimsuit in the summertime, it's outside and that just reduces the amount of sunscreen that I have to put on them, hence also saving me more time. <laughs> Blocking them from the sun just with fabric instead of sunscreen, so that definitely makes things easier. And most of these swimsuits, when they have the long sleeves like that, are two-piece, so I had never seen one like this that's all sewn together in one piece. So I really liked that feature. And then the other thing I saw down here is it has snaps on the bottom. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's genius, genius design. Why don't they do that on all little girl swimsuits? Seriously, because one, if they're still in diapers, it makes diaper changing so, so, so much easier. Hence another time-saving thing in the summer. And if they're potty training or potty trained, 
they don't have to take their whole darn stinking swimsuit off just to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so I think that is a genius design. I also like that it is super easy on and off. Let me show you the back here. But it has a little zipper there. So it's super, super easy to get on and off. Um, a lot of swimsuits are just so tight and when they're wet especially, they're really hard to get on and off. So I just thought this cute little swimsuit had all these awesome features and it was worth spending $14 on it for a swimsuit that will hopefully last her for two years. Even if it'll be a little baggy this summer, I think it'll be worth it. So there we have it you guys, there's my little itty bitty mini Target haul for my daughter's wardrobe just filling in the gaps. So anyway, I hope you guys liked this video and if you found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you will get a notification every time I put up a new video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!